Welcome to Solving Inequalities Involving Graphs and Absolute Values. So firstly we're going to look at uh, how to use graphs to solve inequalities. So our first one is going to be solving x squared is less than 4. So firstly we're going to uh, subtract the 4 across making it less than 0 which makes it a parabola and then from our previous videos that we've watched if we want where it's less than zero, so where are the y values less than zero, so that's below the x-axis, well that's between x equals minus two and x equals two. So that's our solution. So a graph is the best way to actually solve these. When we solve absolute value inequalities, uh, firstly we're going to just refresh our mind on how do we solve an equation using absolute values. So remember when we solve x minus 5, the absolute value of that equals 8. One solution is equal to 8 and the other solution is equal to minus 8. So you don't touch the inequality. So it's x minus 5 equals 8 or x minus 5 equals minus 8. And then you solve each. So add 5 to both sides and you get 13 or minus 3. So if we use the exact same question but just put an inequality in, we have the same concept, so x minus 5 is going to equal to uh, x minus 5 and 8 is one of our solutions and x minus 5 and minus 8 is our other one. But on the minus 1, we actually change the inequality to the opposite direction. So one solution is solve it as it is, x minus 5 less than or equal to 8. The other solution is x minus 5 change the inequality to greater than or equal to minus 8 and then you add 5 to both sides and so you get x is less than or equal to 13 or x is greater than or equal to minus 3. Thank you.